So I'm sending out a newsletter after a few months. I'll, I'm basically just going to read the newsletter to you. But in case uh, you'd rather hear a voice and see a face than look at a screen or see a face on a screen rather than just words on a screen, I'll read the newsletter to you. It's been forever since I've sent out an update. This has been a season of hunkering down and getting some behind the scenes work done. I started graduate studies even though I never actually graduated from undergrad, which is true. Uh, but I'm starting at Fuller Seminary. I'm working on a Theology of the Arts program <clears throat> through their Bream Center. That's been really fascinating. Uh, I've come to believe more and more that there is a revival of the arts and the Christian imagination beginning in the church. I think this has been happening for um, maybe the last 20 years, but there's just a lot of cool stuff going on and people talking about um, the, the church really taking the arts seriously. I'm really excited about that. So I'm learning about that. So I'm a student again, and I'm also building a tiny house inside of a van. There's an airplane. Um, I didn't get to travel last fall because my car was kind of breaking down, but I'll be back on the road uh, this coming summer and fall 2017, and I'm really excited to be touring again. Um, so fall house concert tour. You can host a house concert this fall. I'll be booking soon for September through November. I've got around 50 uh, slots available um, and right now I'm just getting a list of potential hosts so if you're interested maybe you've never hosted before maybe you have hosted uh, I'd love to come back to places I'd also love to do new house concerts um, just email reply to the email my email is Matthew at MatthewClark.net you can email me and just let me know that you're interested and maybe you have questions it doesn't like lock you into any kind of commitment so you don't if you email me, it doesn't mean that you have to host, but you can find out some more. And um, so then the last thing I wanted to leave with is some something that's been really wonderful from school. We've been reading a book called uh, Bridge to Wonder by uh, Cecilia Gonzalez Andrew, and it's it's amazing. So I wanted to read this quote from an interview. She says, "When I ask my students what is the opposite of beauty." they very quickly respond, well, ugly is the opposite of beauty, because that's what society tells us. But what if I say the opposite of beauty is glamour? We start seeing that glamour is the most dangerous thing because it disguises itself as beautiful. It attracts us to it. It ensnares us in false hopes and in superficiality. And in that process, it takes us away from real beauty. So what is more beautiful? Someone who has had 30 plastic surgeries or the lined and broken face of Mother Teresa. So the students become so liberated with this discussion, they've known this in their hearts, and suddenly they feel that they've been given the language so that they can call out the lie of glamour. When we start unmasking glamour, the scales come off of our eyes. We start seeing. What the gospel has to offer the world is the good news the beautiful news, but it is not always pretty in the way that society thinks of pretty because we've been so conditioned by glamour. So my prayer is um, to have eyes to see real beauty, to see through uh, the lie of glamour into things that actually matter and are actually beautiful, and then to give my attention and my time and my energy um, to those things. And that's kind of my prayer for, for everybody. So that's it. Um, if you want to see some updates on the Sprinter, go to my Instagram, which is MatthewClarkNet on Instagram. Uh, I'll be updating my website in the next month or so. I'll have a lot of new uh, house concert hosting materials and uh, things like that. So stay in touch. I really look forward to being on the road in the fall and I hope to see a lot of you guys there. Um, thanks. Thanks for supporting what I do and being a part of it. Really appreciate it. I will say goodbye. Thanks.